Let's balance the net ionic equation for Mg plus SnNO32. This is magnesium and this is tin2 nitrate. So the first thing that we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. It's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Both magnesium and tin, they're just metals, so they're going to be solid. And then nitrates, they're very soluble. Compounds that have nitrates in them are soluble. These will be aqueous. They'll break apart into their ions. Now we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Once we have this, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants here and in the products, the only thing I see that's the same are these two nitrate ions here. So we can cross these out. These are spectator ions. And that gives us the net ionic equation for Mg SnNO32. So I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus tin 2 nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. Here in the reactants, we have a 2 plus, but in the products, we have a 2 plus. So charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. Should note that this is a single displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction where the Mg pushes the tin out. Then we have the tin all by itself. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus SnNO32. Thanks for watching.